everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am opening, I think this is friend mail. I opened it and I saw it and then I set it aside and I can't remember if there was a letter on top that I may have set somewhere else. But when I looked at the, I don't want to share the label because it's not from like a eBay seller. I know it's bad. I have a stack of unboxed things over here and so I can't remember if this is a lot that I bought or if it's friend mail and I'm really sorry. So hopefully there's a list or a letter inside. I'm gonna tell you the name. So if it's you, you can say it was me, Anne. <laughs> Anne, because I remember I have a note, but I can't remember if it went with this box. Oh my gosh, y'all are gonna think I'm so scatterbrained. So I thought let's open it and maybe we'll find a note in there. So this has been sealed up really well. Let me see. I don't think this is a lot that I bought. I don't, I don't, I don't. So what we've got here are some, they're crinkle, crinkle. They're bagged up separately, so that's gonna help. Okay, because I don't know if we'll be able to do all of it. This is fun. All right, so let's see. We're gonna have to do, what do we say? two or three of these bags, because then it'll be too much for one video, I think. Any, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe, if he hollers, let him go. My mother too told me I didn't do that right, and so you are it. All right. <laughs> and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Margaret. I make videos about selling jewelry and other things on eBay and Etsy. Uh, so there's one. Uh, any, meeny, miny, mo, pick this one. Okay, and one more, how about that one? <laughs> No, that one's the big biggie. Let's wait for the big... No, but that's a good one. Okay, go with what you think, Margaret. Save that one. You post me. All right, those get saved. And these come over here. Wow, for real. All right, I'm going to pull things out onto this tray. And as we look at the things that are in these magnificent jewelry bags, I will be talking about if I'm going to sell it, if I think I'll sell it, if I think I'll put it in a lot, and uh, about how much I think I'll be able to sell it for. These are all just guesstimate kind of numbers because until I look some of these items up, I may not know exactly what I would sell it for. And as always, if you are ever interested in something you see in the video, send me an email at texasgaltreasures at gmail.com and I'll send you an invoice, we'll figure it out. And then if you're interested in a lot, same deal. Just shoot me an email. We're going in. All right, bag number one. I'm gonna dump it on the tray. Look, oh my gosh. It must open the bag first. Where's the opening? <laughs> All right, you can laugh. You have to open the bag, Margaret. All right. One, two, three. There we go, okay. Bag number one is in the tray. I'm looking at first impressions because I always like to, man, that really, that pin really got me. Uh, okay, first impressions. Wherever you're from, you look great. Can I just say you look amazing today? I'm so happy to see you. All right, I see some cool stuff. Love Halloween. I see some cool brooches. I'm excited. Here we go. So I'm gonna set any earrings I see off to the side till I find mates for them. Earring, earring. Okay, so we've got a sweet little brooch here. This is a nice double ring brooch. It's got, yeah, I don't see any maker's mark on it. I like to get my magnet out to check it. Um, what I'm checking for, I get this question a lot, is if it's magnetic, then it probably is not gonna be uh, gold or silver. We have found some silver with actual magnetic properties. Finally, it, takes me, it took me a long time to find some. It happens every now and then. So this brooch, hmm, I might end up putting in a lot, maybe. I, I don't know, I kinda like it. If I sold it, it'd probably be about $15, maybe more, I'd have to, oops, I'd have to look it up. Uh, but then there's like, I can't tell if that's a little bit of bubbling right there, or if that's something else, anyway. So that's what's gonna go on with that one. Let's pull out, look, another double ring brooch. That one's pretty awesome. I really like this one. So I like that this one is, is bigger, it's showier, but then again, some people might like the more dainty. 
You never know, Margaret, just because you like this one better doesn't mean that someone else might not like this one better. Got to keep that in mind. So this brooch, I think for sure I will sell. It looks older. Yeah, it's magnetic too. No marks or anything. And so I, again, I'll probably put this maybe about 20 bucks. Here's my thinking. I know sometimes I get the comment that my prices are too high or whatever, but if somebody sees it and they're like, I'm looking for a double ring brooch, I really want one. And they're looking and looking and looking and they keep finding stuff like this, but then this is what they're looking for. They're going to be willing to pay a little bit more for the what they're wanting to get. So keeping that in mind. So I will sell that. I'll just clean it up a little bit. So I have to say, and you may already know this, I don't usually like necklaces that have these wires but this one actually looks pretty good the clasp won't stay closed you have to physically move it to close it but I mean it closes once you you stay uh, once it stays closed anyway uh, I like this double strand I like these graduated gold beads I I think I'll sell this I will have to disclose about the clasp and just saying, you know, it stays closed if you push it closed, but it stays open if you leave it open, you know. I think someone would like this. I think it's kind of classy looking. So I think I will definitely sell that, you know, until I find out better, you know, again, 18 to 20 bucks, maybe more. We'll see. This is a teeny little lapel pin that, you know, may have been the one that stabbed me. I like the little... Mm, crystal in it. Look how far away it is now. All right. I mean, that looks really pretty. So, do I think? Okay, it is magnetic. Yeah. Ooh, I. Mmm. It's either like a hat pin or a lapel pin. What do you think? I'm on the fence about it. Maybe. Look at me. I keep getting it in the wrong spot. I'm gonna have to think about it. Either I will put it in a lot, or I'll have to find a little bottom to stick on there, because that's a, gonna be a poker. Ugh, this I love. Love, love, love. It is a barrette. So this part comes open like so. It opens out, oh my gosh, I love this. Here's the deal. My hair is so thin that this would probably fall right off. But I love this barrette. It's gorgeous. I love how like minimalist it is. I love the, oh, I love it. I'm going to put it to the side and hope that my hair grows thicker. <laughs> I'm going to play with it and see. Maybe this will be a catch and release. And uh, I'll see if I can get my hair to stay. Maybe if I push it, push it in, it'll uh, hold my hair. We'll see. We'll see. There's this necklace with this pendant. I love the clasp like so and I like this pendant it, it has it almost looks like a leaf pressing it almost looks like uh, like a sun rays or I don't know it's got a really nice uh, earth quality to it so this is something I will definitely sell and then get a lot of this one talk about a burst I love it it's kind of got this guitar pick shape <laughs> when in doubt you know and you're just you're, you're a rambler down on the road and you don't want to lose your guitar pick and you wear it around your neck and then you know this is you know because you'd gone down to Georgia devil went down to Georgia and uh, you beat him and this is the pick from that song by the way I'm just saying because then you know because you beat the devil you got this like burst from the heavens on your guitar pick uh, to show that, uh, yeah, that your guitar playing has saved humanity. So, I'm just saying that this is something I will definitely sell. Long story short, I'll sell this one. I like it. Um, I don't know, probably about 20 bucks, I think. Even though it's magnetic, I think that this is pretty awesome. Then, this is a cool little brooch. It's missing a pearl. If it's in there, that would be a pretty thing, easy thing for me to glue back in. Let me see if I have my glue handy. I can show you what I use. I don't see it in my, oh, there it is. Okay, so pretty easy to glue back in. And I would use 
dun, 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 E6000. A teeny little dab will do you, I'm just saying. So it doesn't take a lot. So if it's in there, I can probably fix that up and sell it. If not, it'll go into a craft lot and somebody else will find some way to fix it up. Next up, oh, I love vintage watches. Okay, let's see if we can get in on this space. So this is a Timex. What, uh, what does it say underneath? You can probably read it, but I cannot. So I have to get my loop. Ah, it says waterproof. Okay, waterproof Timex. Here's the back. Now, is this a battery operated or a wind up? I'm guessing it's a battery operated. Uh, so yeah, I mean, unfortunately this kind of uh, stretchy band really pulls on the hair. And this looks like it's broken as well. Is it fixable? Is it something that I can just, oh, I think I can just pop back in. Hmm. Can I pop it? I'm going to see if I can pop that back in because it looks like it's just that little peg is kind of popped out. So it might be something I can easily repair. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, if not, then for now, I'm going to go ahead and put this with my watches because I still have a tub of watches that I need to research and learn about. And this will go in there. I love that face, that antique looking vintage face. So next up, we've got a couple of bracelets that will go into a lot. They're cool. I like the, the beads on this one. And this has got like a fun little, I don't know what you call it. it it's got some sort of weight in it that swings the little flower inside around. That's pretty cool. That's a cool little piece. But yeah, these will go to just like a craft lot. I think somebody will enjoy those beads. Next up, we've got this necklace, which Originally, I would have sold an only part of the necklace is stretched out. So this will end up just in a craft lot for somebody to, to take apart and use the pieces. Ah, I like this bracelet. I like this style of chain. I like that it's got like textured links and then smaller little smooth links that are just shiny. So I really like that. And I'm looking, I don't see any maker's marks on it, but I think it's so pretty. Personally, I, this is probably going to be a catch and release. I could just see, uh, you probably, you may or may not know this about me. I like to wear a lot of dresses. And so I could just see this, you know, nice little gold tone bracelet where with a nice spring dress. I think that would look really sweet. So this is a, a catch for me that I'm going to hold on to for a little while and see how I like it and if I wear it. All right, we've got another brooch here. This one will probably just go into a craft lot. And then here's a sweet angel. This one I will probably sell because there are people who one, love angels and two, I think I could also label this as a Christmas brooch. I uh, just got like the little star, you know, star of wonder, star of light, star of something beauty bright. I forgot the rest of the words. <laughs> I could go on pretending, but we both know I would just make a fool of myself. What's new? I will definitely sell this. And again, probably about 15, 20 bucks in that range. Hello, Halloween. You always make me happy. Look how happy he looks. Just look at that pumpkin. He just doesn't even realize that his days are numbered. He's about to rot into a pile of mush on the front porch. And then just sit there until next Halloween and get pushed off into the uh, bushes and for the new one to come in. But in the mo at the moment, he's super happy. I mean, for all we know, that's their greatest desire in life is to be carved and then decompose on your front porch. And it makes them, you know, happy. So I'm gonna sell this guy, you know, he's living his best life right here, being all carved up. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see how much, uh, again, it's, it's totally, Somebody could be looking for a jack-o'-lantern brooch and none of the other ones are just right. And then they see this one and they're like, that's the one I want. No teeth. He's going to gum us to scare us. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, again, maybe $15. We'll see. I may be out of my mind on that one, but we'll, we'll just guess on that one. Then look at this. It's got this beautiful swirl, almost like a, a paisley with these teardrop pearls and little rhinestone crystals. Really pretty. 
I do not see, oh yes I do, there's a mark right there. I'm gonna need to get my loop out. This is a Sarah Coventry, so I will definitely either sell this one or put this in one of my 10 piece wearable sellable lots. I'm gonna have to do research because Sarah Coventry numbers can be anywhere from $20 to up, you know, depending on the piece and the subject matter and everything. So I will have to do a little research on this beauty. Next up is this really sweet stick pin. This one's fun. So it's got a heart on one side and then XOXO on the other, and then you slide the pin in, go on, in there. So then you've got this, let's turn it around the right way if we can, this little pin that's connected by a chain. I think that's really, really sweet. So I will definitely sell that. I will make sure to put Valentine's in it, love, all that fun stuff. Hugs and kisses. So next I have a couple of scarf clips. So these are scarf clips. And at the moment, I've been just kind of throwing all my scarf clips together in a little drawer. And some I'll probably sell individually, some, I don't know, I start thinking to myself that rationale, like, well, what if they just want this one scarf clip and they're looking for like a quilted look or they're looking for one that looks like a shell and that's just all they want and they're willing to pay 10 or $15 for it. So yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Next up, we've got this little key brooch and it's got a stone hanging on it, which, what are you? I don't think that's Jasper. It's, oh gosh. I'm gonna have to look that one up because it's kind of a rusty red with black splotches, but it's not quite like Jasper, I don't think, unless it's a variety of it. So yeah, this is one I will definitely sell. It's different. It almost feels like that wasn't the original dangle, but hey, now it is. Then we've got this disc looks like a JMW. I will probably just put this in a craft lot. Somebody might be able to use the disc part, put something all over it. I don't know, we'll see. So I've got a lot of different things here that are going to a craft lot. Some little flowers that have been made, a little flip-flop necklace, this little cross. I've seen a bunch of different ones of these. These are really cool. I like these green uh, rhombus, I guess is what they are. And I think they'd make really great earrings. They're already drilled in the top and I love the green on them. Oh, aren't they sweet? Maybe I'll keep them and try to make earrings myself. All right, you're going to the side. I may try to craft something yet. And then this is a little piece of glass cabochon, but it's got this iridescence to it. I feel like I'm gonna look and see if maybe something is missing a stone in here. I'm gonna set this aside because it might be something that goes to something else. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. You are mesmerized by my iridescence. You will, you will hit the thumbs up because the blue is mesmerizing you and yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> okay, craft lot. Uh, here's a little button that says, I love New Hampshire. I have never been to New Hampshire, but I hear it's lovely. So I give this a thumbs up. Oh, thoughts on selling it. I, maybe somebody would want it. I, I'll look it up. Uh, hello, Froggy. Oh my goodness. Look at this guy. He needs a name. He looks like his name is Howard. What do you think? Howard or Reginald? Reginald, but where's Reginald from? I mean, he's red footed. He's some sort of tree frog. But, but mm, he's got webs. Did you know, by the way, that poison arrow frogs don't have webbings? We, we were doing a bit of a st study on animals and frogs in particular. 
And there's different kinds of frogs. One of them, they have webbing like that, and others of them, they don't. So, Reginald here, ooh, where could he be from? Do we think he's from the Amazon? Reginald, be careful of those arapaima. Don't fall in the water. I don't think I can make a voice for him. I think his colors speak for themselves. So I will sell Reginald. I feel like Reginald isn't the right name anymore. I don't know. Down in Louisiana where the biscuits and gravy are the... Anyway, so Reginald, you're going to get sold. I hope you're okay with that. Let's see. We have this beautiful necklace. I love the green. I love these glass beads. It's got this nice toggle clasp. The whites, the greens, the silvers. I will certainly sell this. It's beautiful. It's not my style of something I would wear, but what does this remind me of? It reminds me of a peanut. This is a very fancy peanut. The queen is like, oh, darling, Philip, I need some peanuts, the roasted kinds, please, not the boiled ones. Oh, oh no, that peanut is too common for me. I, I must have a bejeweled peanut. Oh, thank you. Thank you, darling. Ah, oh, you understand. Clearly, a queen of my magnitude. <laughs> I'm losing my, I'm losing the accent, y'all. Clearly, clear, I can't do it. Clearly, I must have. Green is not necessarily my color, but it will do. As I say, it will do. Let me have a peanut now. Crack. <coughs> yum, yum. That hits the spot. <gasps> oh, I do beg my pardon. All right, <laughs> so I will sell this necklace. Uh, probably about $25 is my guess on what I'll put on it. Depending on what I see out there, maybe more. These white beads, I feel like don't quite go, but hey, what do I know? Next is this really sweet silver tone. It's like grape leaves and vines on a bracelet. It's got a fold over clasp. I see a mark here, SC, which I'm believing to be Sarah Coventry. Again, with Sarah Coventry, the prices can go up depending on the, what it is, the piece and all that. So I will have to look up this Sarah Coventry. It's interesting because a lot of times when I see things like this with, you know, grape leaves and vines and things, they'll be more on the gold tone color scheme because they're more fall colors so I think this is interesting I like it I think this one is one I will put into a lot these are just maybe they're glass they're kind of cold to the touch uh yeah they'll probably just go to a lot oh darling you brought me another peanut oh you are so thoughtful come give mommy a kiss mwah, mwah. thank you darling okay so <laughs> my apologies your majesty uh should you be watching uh that i am trying very poorly to imitate your your speech patterns but clearly Darling, you know how I love the bejeweled peanuts. Nom, nom, nom. Can't get enough of them. Thank you, darling. Okay, so this is, it has a magnetic closure, which is so sweet. I love it. So I'll sell this one as well. Uh, I won't probably sell them together, but I'll put a link in each listing and say, find the matching necklace here. Find the matching bracelet here. Oh, darling, thank you. Now I can take a peanut wherever I go. Where do I go? Oh, up to hunting, of course. I don't know, what does the queen do? She likes to work on cars, right? Or she did. <laughs> likes to or, or did, she used to work on cars. Okay, so here we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, darling, gorgeous um, dragonfly. Unfortunately, their sweet dragonfly's tail's broken. And it's missing a couple stones. But isn't it beautiful? I love it. Chantilly, is that what this style is called? I always get it mixed up. It's open work, kind of a Chantilly style. We're gonna go with it. I don't see any maker's marks, but because of the damage and everything, it will likely just end up in a lot. But I think somebody will, will see this piece and think, well, I'm gonna do something awesome with this. And they will. Next, we've got this flat, I'm guessing gold tone chain. It is not magnetic. 
it is not magnetic. So let's see if we see any marks or maker's marks. So there's no marks on this. Chances are it's not really gold, but it, it's something that's a really nice chain that I'm gonna take a closer look at and see what kind of prices are out there on this style of chain. Oh, this is so sweet. This is a sweet little delicate pearl necklace and it's got a little a little drop here with some bling this is a really sweet like first communion type necklace or something like that i will definitely try to sell this one and i'll put something like you know first communion in the title because i could just see that on a little a little child's neck, beautiful. Then we've got this brooch, which I love. It's got this enamel work on the leaves and then these little, probably plastic. Oh, you're missing one. Are you in there? No, I don't see it. Okay, so, oh, and the pin's gone. All right, so darn it, you are going to a lot, but I like you. Don't feel rejected too bad. I would have kept you had you been complete, but since you're not, I'm rejecting you. <laughs> Uh, answer me this. Would you sell this kind of pin? I think there must be people that collect like these old like Hallmark style plastic mold type pins. And so this is a nice Easter pin probably with tulips. Yeah, I'll probably sell that. This is, these are cufflinks. The cabochons or whatever once upon a time on them are gone. So these would be fun for somebody that's crafting. They could glue whatever on there. I could glue whatever on there and make something. Reginald, how you feeling? I'm too big for these and there's only one of me. How about you and Mr. Jack Lantern? What do you think? No? Okay. Anyway, we'll find something or I'll put these in a lot because how fun. All right, so here we've got more little stick pins. This one is just a gold oval. There's a T for Mr. T. Pity the fool who doesn't buy my stick pin. And then there's a J, I think, or is that a T? And then apologies for my horrible Mr. T accent or, or impersonation, I should say. And then there's a little shell on this one. And then here we've got this ceramic little house with the tree. I like it. So what are we gonna do with all of you? Magnetic, magnetic, magnetic. Ah, uh, ooh. Is there a market for this kind of thing? I don't know. The tea is kind of cool. Oh, I'm gonna put it to the side because I can't decide on these. I like the little shell one. I'm thinking about those. This I will probably sell. I think that's sweet. So here are some of the earrings that we've got. Some of them are screw back. These are screw back and clip on. So the, and these are napier. These are ones that I might try to clean up. As you can see, the cabochon on them is a little dirty. I might try to clean that up. I'm gonna set those aside because those are ones that either I'll sell or put in one of my 10 lot if I can get them cleaned up nice. Then I like these. The backs of them are different, so there's been a repair job. Uh, but probably most of the rest of these are going to just go into a lot. Some are kind of cool, but yeah, these will probably just go into a lot. So here we go again, we've got some more earrings. Some of these will go to lots. These will go to a lot. These, it's missing a stone, even though they've got these beautiful AB Aurora Borealis in there. Those will go to a lot. These will also go to a lot, as will these, looks like that. Now these I think I will sell. They've got this 
black enamel inside with these little rhinestone or crystals. Those are screw backs as well, but I really like them. I think those will sell. So I'm going to sell those. These seashells I will sell. However, when I was looking, I was like, I feel like I'm inspecting someone's dirty ear. I'm like, is, is it gross in there or what? Um, I, I'm probably going to sell these. I feel like there should be something there, but there isn't. But those I think are pretty cool. I think those will sell. Uh, these I'll put into a lot. These are pretty cool. I like the swirls. And I don't see a maker's mark on those, but I think they're pretty awesome. So those I'm going to sell. They kind of remind me of like meringue on the top of a pie or something. And then we've got some big domes. They're kind of brushed. They've got a bit of a design on them. Um, I'll probably put those in a lot as well. These are gorgeous. I love them. So these I will sell as well. These are clip-ons. I don't see a maker's mark, but I love this twisted frame, big gold dome cabochon. Do you call it a cabochon if it's metal? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway, big dome. I like big domes and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny when a girl walks in with it. Big dome earrings. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and then we've got some little hoops that uh, I'll sell those. Mm, no, I'm going to lot those. <laughs> and then these, they look like they're missing whatever was hanging from them. They're little clip-ons as well. Yep, those will go to a lot. Then I've got a few solo cufflinks here. Button piece. This is so cool. I wish the other one was there. Maybe it's in one of these other bags. I'm going to wait and see. It's like a big screw screw you oh yeah no <laughs> um yeah same thing with this one pretty cool but if i don't find the mates then i'll just put these in a lot then we've got a bunch of barrettes and hair clips a couple of butterflies and just other these will probably just go into a lot All right, now we've got some more earrings. These are pretty cool, like twisted wire. They look like they might be silver, but they're not. So these will probably go to a lot. These are pretty cool, but they're missing something up here. I love this black and this kind of like gold flecking on the hoop part. But because I don't know what would go there, I'll probably lot those as well. It's unfortunate. I like those a lot. These I will sell. I need to look at them closer to see. I don't think they're Bakelite. They're definitely like a vintage plastic. They have that root beer color. I'll set those aside. Uh, I don't think they're Bakelite just because of the shininess, the, the way it shines. But I still think somebody would like those kind of root beer vintage plastic earrings. Then we've got some nice cuff links. I will sell probably, you know, about, about 15, 20 bucks. These I will sell, these sweet little paint palettes. There's going to be some somebody that's an artist that would like those. And then check out these. These clip-ons, I love this kind of like mid-century modern style. That green, that black. I will definitely sell those. Very awesome. I love those colors. Then we've got some hoops. Hoops, and these are magnetic, and these are magnetic. All right, a couple more pieces out of that bag. We've got this really sweet sweater clip. It's got a nice little pearl chain, these leaves, little pearls there. I will definitely sell this. It's gorgeous, it's so sweet. And then this is a sweet little bracelet. It's got these three little waves. Uh, hmm, I can't decide. It's magnetic. Would you sell this? I might. I have a feeling it's gonna. it would sit for a little while. Let me think about it. This one is a maybe I'll sell. Then there's this little heart. Let me zoom in. And it's got these carvings on it with these flowers. It's really sweet. Nice little rope braid, like rope uh, frame around it. And it does have a mark. It was, I couldn't quite make it out. It almost looked like a date. So it looks like it might be pewter. And it looks like N-I-C, 
Uh, it's not magnetic, so I might test it because it, it kind of looks like silver. Let me rub. I'm going to rub and see if we get any shine on it. Rub, 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 rub. It kind of hurts <laughs> to rub. Um, I might test it just to see. It might be pewter, but then in certain spots you can see where it really shines, where it's been kind of carved. So I might go ahead and test that one. With some of those hoop earrings, some the hoops that I had here, my camera died. Those little hoop earrings, some were magnetic, but then when I rubbed, you know, they shined up really nicely. So I might test those too. Yeah, I stuck them over here. See, I started. They look really tarnished, but then when I start rubbing, I mean, they could just be plated. But I, I thought, yeah, why not just test them and find out. Finally, the last bits in here will probably just all end up in a lot. They're just little bits of things. Those are those are clip-ons, maybe. Meh. Yeah, they'll, this is all I'll just end up in a lot. Now, I realize we're running long, so I think we'll just do one more of these bags and I'll save the other because it'll be a long, long, long video. So let's open this bag and we'll we'll see where we're at. First up are these earrings from that bag. These will probably just go into a lot. I don't know. Maybe I'll sell these. They're, yeah, I'll take I'll probably take these off this card and sell them because they're really like 80s. And I think that that maybe the 80s will come back again. They're in and out. Everything's in and out all the time, right? These earrings, I probably would have sold them if the other pieces had been there, but they're not there. So this will go to a lot. These, hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll try to sell them. I like the the two different textures of silver tone metal, I would take them off the card. I got that question recently, uh, what do I sell them with the cards? And I, I said, well, if the card detracts from the earrings, unless this ends up being like a fancy schmancy brand, even with the wear on the card, then I would leave it on. But I don't think they are. Anyway, we've got a broken piece. This will go to a lot. This is beautiful. It's got these red beads that, you know, almost look like those um, garnet beads, but I don't quite think they are. I think they're just plastic. And then these little pearl twisted together, and then it's got a hidden clasp like that barrel. I will definitely sell this. I'll have to see what this kind of necklace is selling for, but I love it. I think it's very pretty. Next up, we've got this pearl necklace, probably faux pearl, got a little barrel clasp. So yeah, these, ooh, um, they're pretty nice. Maybe I'll try to sell them, I'll, I'll see. This necklace is going to a lot. And then this says Calgary Stampede. I'm guessing that this is from, do they have a rodeo in Calgary? <laughs> Sorry, coming from a Texan, it's, I know they have rodeos other places than Texas, but I'll have to look into what this Calgary Stampede is and I will sell this. Ah, I love this. This is kind of like a feather brooch, you know, metal feather. And this is a Sarah Coventry, so this is one that I will either sell or it will end up in one of my 10-piece lots. And this is one I will sell. This is a little golf brooch. <laughs> when I saw it first, I just saw the back, and I thought, what is it going to be? Is it going to be, I don't know. Anyway, it's a golf ball and tea. <laughs> then we've got this flower pin and then this is a snowflake obsidian look I got it first try snowflake obsidian stone in the middle ah uh, I guess I'm gonna try to sell this it's different I think it would sell and uh, same with this one I think this is magnificent with this white enamel rose and the stem question in Beauty and the Beast, was it a white rose? I can't remember. Or yellow. Maybe it was yellow. I can't remember. I don't know. Then we've got another flower pin. This one's really sweet as well. I like the green on the leaves and around the petal, around the, the bud. I know those have a name, that part of the flower, but I can't think of what it is. I, oh, the stem is gone. I was going to say, I will sell this for sure, but there is no stem. 
Darn! Darn! Then we have an owl. Look at this owl. He's like, uh, he is really cool. So I will sell this owl as well, probably about 15, 20 bucks. Oh, look how sweet this little cross is. It says pink cat's eye cross on a silver tone chain. And where is my, it's not magnetic. However, I'm, I'm not thinking it's silver either. So it's a small necklace. So maybe for a child or someone with a smaller neck than me. <laughs> um, yeah, I will definitely sell this. I could see somebody liking this sweet little pink cross. Then we've got these red earrings. I will sell those. I think they're amazing. Would I wear them? Probably not. Maybe I should try them on and see how they look. Maybe I would wear them. I don't know. They're a maybe. I may try them on. I may clean them up, try them on, and see how they look on me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one has got pineapple, banana, uh, grapes, and little monkeys. He's like, give me the banana. Shroop. Right? I like to eat, 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 eatples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat. Have y'all heard that song? Opals and bonobos. Oh, no, to oat, oat, oat. Anyway, <laughs> I will definitely sell these pineapple and jungle dangle earrings. I guess they don't call it jungle anymore. It's a rainforest. But these are so fun. But do the cherries grow in the rainforest? I don't think so. But maybe these are something else. They look like cherries, though. Anyway, I'll sell these. I think they're amazing. <gasps> look at you. This is awesome, too. Look at this green leaf brooch. Obviously, that's what you're going to do because you're looking at the video. Unless you're looking at your phone and watching, which is fine. I guess I'll get over it. Um, Mamzelle is the brand on that one, so I'll have to look that up. It looks like maybe there's a little bit of wear, but I will, uh, I'll sell that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These just need some, I just have to pull some hooks off another earring and put on these. I love them. I think they'll sell. These are another pair that I, I think I just need to shine a black light on them because these at the club, those are gonna swing when you're dancing. They're gonna swing. That's not the kind of music the kids listen to these days. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. No, no, wrong, wrong kind of music for these earrings. Anyway, goosh, 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 goosh. These will um, goosh off and I'll fix them or something. Then, this is a keychain. I think it was a frame at one point or something, but it's broken, right? Right? Yeah. So that will go to a lot. And then we've got another little pearly necklace. So that I will probably also sell. Okay, so I think we're gonna hold off on the last bag because we've got quite a bit here uh, going already. And yeah, I'm gonna do the next bag tomorrow, probably. And then we'll see what we get. I'm so excited and I hope I figure out who sent this to me because I, I feel bad because I usually keep the card right with everything and for whatever reason, I didn't. So that's totally on me. But we're gonna maybe keep this one simple. Let's get these up here. Sometimes I feel like they're so busy. Tell me what you think about the thumbnails on the jewelry videos. Are they too busy with too much stuff? Or should I keep them a little more downplayed, a little more subdued? I don't know. I'm all for the wow factor. But then you don't want to give it all away, right? Because if you give it all away, then what's the point of watching? It's like when you see a commercial for a movie and then they show all the good parts in the movie. But let's show our peanut. Oh, darling, thank you so for the peanuts. They're delicious. I never, ever had anything more delectable. Uh, and the pig, lest we forget how the world was saved with the pig of destiny. Anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you on the next one. Bye!